five Ps. Once upon a time, five little peas lived together inside a pea pod in harmony and contentment. They slept all day warmed by the sun, and at night they would talk together and listen to the music of the moon. When the moon was a crescent, she strung a silver string on her points and became a harp, keeping the beat with a castanet. When she was a full moon, she would boom like a mighty drum. The peas would wake when they heard her music. The eldest preferred the sound of the drum. Let's beat the drum! Let's beat the drum! <laughs> the second was mischievous and enjoyed the castanets. The lyrical, sensitive third P longed for the melody of the harp. Today, the moon was in its crescent phase, and the soft music of the harp filled the air. The other peas, however, had different tastes. They covered their ears and did not want to listen. Oh, the harp is dull and boring. I don't want to listen to this. Oh, I don't like it at all. I don't like it. And what about the fourth and fifth? Uh, I don't care about anything. Life flows like a river. The fourth pea was melancholy and thoughtful, but the fifth and youngest was very different. He liked the castanets, the drum, and the harp the same. I love them all. Each sound is special in its own way. <laughs> One fine day, the five peas suddenly realized how cramped their pod had become. Uh, move over. It's so stuffy in here. Oh, this pot is too cramped. I can't sleep in here. <laughs> What's going on? Suddenly, the pod burst open and the bright sunlight came bursting in. Oh, 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 What's going on? It's too bright. I can't sleep. Oh, no. What's this light? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Unlike the fourth pea, all the others were quite excited. Uh, this could be our chance. Our chance for what? Why, our chance to see the world. Uh, we aren't stuck in any tiny pot anymore. But we know nothing about the outside world. It could be dangerous. I don't care. I just want to see it. The peas argued for a while about whether they should leave their pod. Finally, they decided to take their chances and go on an adventure. I wish I could get more sleep. Leaping out of their pod, the peas slid down a thick stem and landed in a furrow in the pea patch. Uh, I hadn't realized how far up our home had been. <laughs> the peas were overwhelmed at encountering the world for the first time and were confused about where they should go. Hey, look, I found some peas that will be perfect for my slingshot. Uh, here we go. Fly, peas, fly! Oh! The first pea flew high into the air and far away. The second, third, and fourth also went flying from the slingshot. No, I'm scared! Please put me down! I don't want to fly! I cannot resist the force of fate. I will follow my destiny. 
At last, the youngest was launched from the slingshot. Like a cloud! It's so wonderful to fly! So light and free! The fifth landed on a windowsill. Oh, I feel so dizzy. Where am I? Uh, uh, let's look through the window. Gazing through the window, he saw a little girl lying in bed. She was very pale and thin and was coughing weakly. Here, darling, try to swallow some of the soup. I'm sorry. I feel too ill to eat anything right now. Oh, <coughs> oh but you must eat so you can get strong and healthy. Oh, what will I do with you? Oh. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, Mom. <sighs> oh. When the girl finally fell asleep, her mother looked up at the sky and cried. How can you be so cruel to me? Why do you want to take my only child from me? Please save my daughter. Do you not pity the sufferings of a mother helplessly watching her child die? Please save my daughter. Please save my daughter. Please. <laughs> Beneath the light of the full moon, the pea rolled himself into the girl's room and sang for her to the beat of the drum. Dung, 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 play the drum! Dung, 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 play the drum! Uh, uh, uh? Oh, oh, oh. Where's that sound coming from? Oh? oh, oh who is it? <coughs> to sing to the beat of the moon's drum. <laughs> you can? <laughs> the girl could see the full moon outside her window, but she couldn't hear its drum. Oh, but I can't hear the music. Nothing is impossible. Oh, what do you mean? Listen and open your mind. Oh, my mind? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's true. I can hear it now. The drum beats. I can hear it. <laughs> That's right. You just have to believe. <laughs> if you believe, you can get better again. Oh, no. My doctor says my disease cannot be cured. Oh. Well, what if I can become something other than a pea? Maybe you can become healthy again. <laughs> but you are only a pea. What else can you become, huh? <laughs> but what if I transform myself? Will you promise to change yourself too if I do? Mm, yes, I promise. <laughs> the next morning, the girl woke up early. Oh, it was just a dream. A talking pee. Oh. <coughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Although the girl didn't really believe in her dream, she could feel hope rising in her heart. But what if I could really cure myself? <laughs> Meanwhile, the fifth P resolved to keep his promise to the girl. He used the dust that had built up on the windowsill to keep himself warm through the cold winter. The seasons changed, spring arrived, and the fifth pea felt a change occurring within him. He had sprouted a green bud. 
Aww. One day, the girl's mother noticed the pea sprout on the windowsill. Oh, look, it's a pea sprout. How did it end up on our windowsill? Huh? What's that? A pea? I... <gasps> I... Oh, mother, he has kept his promise. <laughs> The pea has kept his promise, Mother. <laughs> what are you talking about, dear? The girl told her mother all about her strange dream. He said that he could change. Mom, so now maybe I can become healthy again. Of course you can, dearest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the mother was deeply touched by the confidence in her daughter's voice and embraced her. Do you really believe that you can get better? Of course I can. If the pea can grow like that, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Courage and hope glowed on the girl's face as she turned to the pea. <laughs> this is all thanks to you, pea. Thank you so much. At that instant, the pea was proud and happy and had no regrets about venturing into the world. He hoped his brothers were all right and did not regret their decisions either. As he looked at his branches, he could see new peas beginning to sprout, and he smiled happily. The Prince and the Pauper The Ugly Duckling Rapunzel The Emperor's New Clothes The Bremen Town Musicians The Happy Prince Heidi, Girl of the Alps Nobody's Boy The Wizard of Oz The Last Leaf <laughs> <laughs>